Thank fuck there's not 1300 rivets. What's happening my fellow geeks and geekettes? Welcome to a brand new episode of Cosplay Chris and today it is a breakdown, first look and cosplay announcement for Henry Cavill's new armor from The Witcher Season 2. Netflix has dropped a few cheeky tidbits of Henry in his new armor from Season 2. Now obviously we all know that production was halted in March due to the pandemic but they have since started filming again and Netflix has delivered the goods with just a lovely tease of Mr. Cavill looking oh so much like a snack. And of course, I'm gonna have to make this bad boy. I'm gonna have to give this armor a crack. So it's a bit of a breakdown. Take a look at what's going on with the new armor and what my intentions are in terms of the methods of the madness and the materials that I'm gonna be using to make said new armor. So taking a first look, it was honestly nothing that I expected but like in a good way. It was like a happy little surprise. I thought they were gonna be going something more geared towards the game look, but maybe with a bit more black as opposed to chain mail and browns. But I am seriously happy with what's going on here right now, geeks and geekettes. It looks beautiful. We also have a back shot which shows that he has a pretty similar, if not the same, sword holster slash scabbard, and also the same looking sword. But the sword is actually attached directly to the armor as opposed to having belt straps or a series of belt straps holding it onto the torso against the armor. So let's get the main part out of the way. I'm so happy that there's not a hundred meters of leather stitching involved and 1300 rivets. Don't get me wrong, I love a challenge, but I'm still trying to get feeling back in this thumb. I kid you not, it has not been the same since and I've lost sensation in the tip of my thumb. It's a great reminder because I love the armor, it turned out great, it got some great coverage, but my thumb's a little bit fucked. So all jokes aside, I really like the aesthetic of it. And from what I can see, uh, it's a bigger gauge rivet that's a lot flattened as if it's been hammered out, but you can get rivets that have that pre-flattened look. So it's gonna be EVA foam. That's dead set, it's a dead set given. Um, EVA foam covered with a certain type of vinyl, probably not the same vinyl that I used on the previous armor where uh, the, the, the grain of the leather was a lot more intense, whereas this grain looks a lot more smoother, almost not teetering on suede, but it looks like it's really been worn down. But the grain is very different to the first iteration of the armor. Now what's interesting is we've got abs. Henry's got abs on his armor. It's very kind of gladiator-esque almost. Kind of reminds me of the Pirate Batman um, version 3 2.0 hexagon square pied armor. <laughs> um, there's a lot going on. Same belt buckle, which is great. The belt buckle um, slips right through some sleeves there, as you can see down there at the base of the armor. And he has the same gauntlets, which is great. I can recycle my gauntlets. Gloves are different. Gloves are a little bit different from the first gloves. And we see down here, he's got a holster that is actually a brown leather with an interesting buckle going on there. That looks a bit fancy and fun. And then we go further down and it is is a holster, it has one, two, three, four, from what I can see, four holsters possibly for daggers, arrows, a weapon, potions, I'm not sure, but it looks pretty damn badass. I love that. It's almost like a gun holster, but not. Pants look relatively the same. He goes through different iterations of the pants in the first season, much like his armor. Uh, the armor sometimes has more to it and then less to it, whereas I kind of went for that happy medium, the ones that we predominantly saw in the publicity stills and stuff like that. Now he's still got the wonderful necklace. The undergarment looks a bit different, especially at the collar. So it might be something where I will have that showing through, but for the rest of it, have it a uh, much more cooler material because I do want this to kind of breathe uh, much like the version one armor where you're not taking shortcuts, you're just being smart and making sure that you're not gonna suffocate your body and also overheat your body wearing something like that because it is EVA foam. EVA foam does not breathe, let alone with a vinyl glued down over on top of it. And I really love the shoulders too. Again, very Gladiator-esque and it's gonna be one of those things where I'll be using that same rubber trimming that I used on the V1 armor 
Um, wig looks pretty much the same, so I'll be using the wigs of Whimsy. I do want to go at it more with a bit more of a wet look like we see right here, like he's been sweating profusely. But overall, man, I am really digging this look. Again, it was quite a surprise when I woke up this morning and I, for a split second, I thought it was like some Boss Logic fan art. And usually with Boss Logic, he gets it pretty right in terms of the design concept. Like it's something you'd believe, oh, that's legit. That's released by the studio. And then I woke, the more I woke up and looked at my phone, uh, people were tagging me in it. And they're like, cosplay Chris, you gotta do this, you gotta do this, you gotta see this, you gotta see this, you're gonna cosplay as this. And I'm like, oh, okay. This is legit. <laughs> so what I'll be doing is using the base template from the V1 armor and going from there and changing it and altering it as I see fit to marry up with this armor. There's obviously gonna be different layers going on. As you see there, we've kind of got that uh, not diamond, almost like a diamond shield right in the middle there, smack bang where the abs are. So there's gonna be plating that will kind of interlock and go together like a jigsaw puzzle, which is great and fun. In terms of the abs, it'll be uh, heating some EVA foam and putting it over a, a buck. Like a buck is like a 3D mold, um, like that you do vacuum forming on of abs or some sort or a mannequin torso. But it would be one of those things where I really have to accentuate the abs because you lose detail through that EVA foam when you heat it and put it over something. And these are, quite defined. So I will be starting the R&D. I would like to see some back shots first before I really get into the nitty gritty side because I'd hate to kind of put this thing together or put most of it together and then there's back shots released and I've just completely got it wrong. So we do have a back shot, but it's not giving too much away at this time. But yeah, geeks and geekettes, I'm stoked with how it looks. I'm excited for it. And it's not one of those things where I'm like, oh my God, it means less work. That's great. It was. I do love a challenge, but this is uh, one of those things where I can concentrate on the details more instead of worrying about getting the, the work and the labor done with uh, the leather stitching and all those rivets that I did with the V1 armor. This is gonna be great and this is gonna be fun. I'm definitely interested to start sourcing some uh, vinyl sheets and stuff like that, or maybe some fox leather, pleather, uh, as you guys know. And also the undergarment, it, there's a lot of texturing going on here. I love it, you know, it's all the same aesthetic. It's all black, but it's all different textures and it just looks beautiful. So guys, I know this is just a very quick video, but I wanted to share my initial thoughts on Henry's new look he's sporting in The Witcher season two. And I'm very excited about and very happy with the aesthetic and what's going on. I'm very excited to get started on this project. So we've got The Witcher season two happening. We've got Endgame Captain America. I am waiting for my upgrade kit from Lee Hurley that is in the mail as we speak. There are two other cosplay announcements that I want to announce here on the channel. I've announced one and sort of announced one on my Instagram. I just put one in my story, but uh, I, I feel they're definitely uh, for, for uh, not separate videos. I'll probably do them together. So one's been a long time coming and one that's gonna be a lot of fun. And that's why I said at the beginning of 2020, man, this list will probably change and it definitely has. So it's kind of great to not set things in stone because Things change, man. So guys, drop a comment below. Let me know your thoughts on Henry's new armor for The Witcher season two. Is it what you were thinking or you're not a fan? Guys, wherever you're on the world, have yourselves an absolute cracker of a day. I hope you're well, hope you're happy, be merry, be silly. And until next time, geeks, please always remember, cosplayers do it best.